The man who invented the bulletproof vest was a real genius. In order to prove the reliability of this vest, the inventor himself shot himself 190 times and remained unharmed. That's when people started to officially accept the bulletproof vest. The main material of the vest is Kevlar. This paper-like material is five times stronger than the same mass of steel, but it's only one-five the density of steel. So Kevlar is very thin and light and very resilient. Generally speaking, bulletproof vests are made of multiple layers of Kevlar. The speed of a conventional handgun bullet is about 400 meters per second. Although the bullets are very powerful at the initial stage, the first layer of Kevlar in a bulletproof vest can break down. But because of this, the bullet's speed is forced down. After several layers of Kevlar have intercepted the bullet, the speed of the bullet will continue to decrease, and then it stops at a certain layer to stop the incoming bullet. But a bullet fired from a rifle can travel at speeds of up to 800 meters per second. The Kevlar body armor is useless at this point. Bullets can easily penetrate this soft body armor. The inventor tried adding a steel plate to the front of the vest. The steel plate would stop the bullet, but the bullet stops almost instantly, which means the body has to absorb all the bullet's energy in a very short period of time, which translates into tremendous power. The body's internal organs can't withstand such intense pressure, so the inventor tried replacing the steel plate with a ceramic plate. When the bullet hits the ceramic plate at high speed, the ceramic shatters. This process consumes most of the bullet's kinetic energy. The rest of the energy is absorbed by multiple layers of Kevlar. And so, a bulletproof vest that can stop rifle bullets has been created. The inventor of the bulletproof vest is really smart. 